Welcome to our tutorial about the VBA user interface. The Visual Basic Editor has a standard Windows look, feel, and behavior. At the top of the window, we see the main drop down menus. Let's select Insert and User Form. Underneath the drop down menus are tool icons. Right clicking next to the main menu gives you a menu where you can open the Debug, Edit, Standard, and User Form toolbars. You can also access the Customize dialog window with your right click. Here we have tabs for customizing toolbars, commands, and additional options. Under Commands, we can select from Categories and then grab, drag, and drop tools onto the toolbars if we need to. On the Toolbars tab, we can select which toolbars we'd like to display. We can also create a new custom toolbar. Let's close for now. In the upper left panel sits the Project Explorer window. All the items we're working on are shown here, such as forms, modules, class modules, etc. At the top of the Project Explorer window, we've got three command icons, View Code, View Object, and the Toggle folder, which hides the folder but still shows the objects in our project. In the center area, we've got what's called the Project Container window. Here, we see my user form and the toolbox. If you happen to not see the toolbox, select View from the main menu and Toolbox. The toolbox holds controls that can simply be dragged and dropped into your form. Controls can be positioned and resized. Every control and every form has a number of properties which are listed in the lower left panel, the Properties window. The properties of any selected object can be changed. If you've selected more than one control, for example, only the common properties of those selected controls will be visible. Let's say font, for example. Properties can be viewed alphabetically or by category. Here we can collapse or expand the properties list. Using this drop down menu, we can select which individual controls and the properties of those controls that we want visible in the properties window. Now let's talk about the coder window or the module window, which can be accessed by a double click on a control or the form, or using the coder button as we discussed previously. We can select views, procedural or full code view. This lets us see code for a specific procedure. Or, for full code view, we see the code for the entire module. We can also split the code window in two panels. We can scroll the code in the panels independently. To close the split, simply double click on the split line. On the right side, we've got a drop down menu with a list of available events. Different controls have different type of events available to them. Down below, we have what's called the immediate window. Here we can execute statements directly, test statements, and debug code. For example, let's say I want to test what the sum of 1 plus 1 is. I can enter the code right here, and I get an immediate answer. 2. What a surprise! We've got two more windows, the Locals window and the Watch window. We'll be looking at these windows later in this course. Visual Basic uses the concept of design time and run time. Right now we're in design time. If I hit the run button, we're live or in run time. To return to design time, simply close the running window or click the reset button. And this concludes our introduction to VBA's user interface.